Hello and welcome to Warcraft Daily for today, the 13th of July 2013. So in today's news we only have one thing, and that is the pet store. Although it's not going to be the pet store anymore, it's the, well really just the in-game in add-on store. Um, because they're adding new things to the store. So, first of all, we have a whole bunch of new helms. These are called the Jewel of the Fire Lord, Hood of Hungering Darkness, and the Crown of Eternal Winter. So the first thing I'm going to look at is the, um, that was a thing of the Fire Lord. The, yes, the Jewel of the Fire Lord. Now what this does is, it essentially gives you fire horns. Um, I, you know, personally I think it looks pretty dumb actually because uh, it just looks like you have a big fiery dick in your face, doesn't it? So yeah, eh, a little bit mad on that. But you know what? If you're if you're like a fire mage or something, and you're into that sort of thing, then awesome. Now the next one that I'm going to cover is uh, the the hood of hungering darkness, or at least what I believe is the hood of hungering darkness. Now if you look at this, it, I think it is the just friggin' awesome. So essentially, it gives you this really cool demon head. Like look at those red eyes. Oh. Yeah, that's real cool. Um, it also gives you some crown thing, but who cares about that? This might be the Jewel of the Fire Lord, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, the screenshots at the minute are not labelled, so it's a little bit hard, so I'm just going off what I think they are. Now the next one, and we definitely know what this is, is the Hood of... Uh, not the Hood of Hungering Darkness, the Crown of Eternal Winter. This is a... Uh, it's like an ice sort of helm. It actually reminds me of a kind of a larger, more serious version of all those little sprites that you find roaming around Pandaria, and I think it looks pretty cool. I'm not too sure what sort of gear it goes with, and it's a little bit sort of weird that it gives you that face, but perhaps in combination with some like Wrath of the Lich King, like kind of, well, Lich King styled armor, it might look cool. Overall though, I think as a trio, it's a pretty cool addition. Now, this is in the store, so it really comes down to money. Now, a lot of people are probably going to expect me to I'm Bass Blizzard and, you know, call them bastards or something because it's just further monetization of the game and I always go back to the, the sort of the stance that this stuff is, uh, this stuff doesn't have stats. It doesn't affect your gameplay, it just looks cool. Now, funny enough, Blizzard I think are really one of the very few companies that are in the position where they could go the Valve model and uh, just, like, have the game for free and sell hats. Or, you know, more, probably a little bit more than that because it's an MMO, but they could nearly do that. They could go up for an ultra, ultra consumer friendly um, free to play model and they would have, they would be the biggest MMO easily because there's a lot of people that just haven't jumped into it because of the money. So not only would it make them the biggest MMO, even, you know, against the free to plays, but it would also make them probably a good bit more money. Well, maybe not a good bit more money, it depends. We'll see what happens when those well, subscribers dip, but I think it does come down to price with this item. And um, personally, like, it's it's sort of worrying. I mean, a mount costs $25. A pet costs $10. Now, if you look at what a pet does, you know, I could see them maybe charging $15 for this, and I think that's ridiculous. Personally, I think if they would add little things like this in for $5, people could just be like, oh, that looks cool. I have some extra money this month. Why don't I get that? It'll look cool. I think that would be a good idea, but I'm not really convinced they'll do that. So yes, it depends. Now moving on to the other items, they are the Seesaw and the Iron Hitchling Post. Now the Seesaw is pretty much what you'd expect. One player can sit on one end of the Seesaw, and another can sit on the other, and they can like, gyrate or something, because that's fun, right? I, I don't really get it. Um, and the next thing is the Iron Hitchling Post. This basically just puts like, um, you know those like, mount, like posts that you like would tie your horse's reins to or something like that, I don't know. It pretty much puts one of those in the ground and everyone in your party, battleground or raid can click on that and they get a mount. Now the, I suppose what Blizzard are really building is the cool thing is it means, like say in a battleground, you could have like 40 people all charging down a hill with the exact same mount and while, well, you know, I do think that looks pretty cool. Now there is one thing about these, these are expandable. Now of course I think you'll get more than one when you buy them, you'll probably get like 20, 30, 40, 50. I'd say 50 probably, um, you know, similar to what you get with the uh, trading card game uh, one-use items, and uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I, personally I, I wouldn't really buy something like this, because if I'm buying something in a game like World of Warcraft that costs real-world money, I want it to be permanent, and the mounts are permanent, the pets are permanent, these things will run out, so that's why I wouldn't really go for them, but I mean, if, if you know, if you have the cash, and go, you know, you can buy these things, whatever. Um, I'd say that just, 
as long as you know, when they do, if they add gameplay affecting stuff in, I would encourage people to be a responsible consumer and not to encourage the behavior in the game since it already is a subscription game. However, these little fun cosmetic items, at the end of the day, I won't buy them, but I think they're fair enough. So that's really it for today's show. Um, it's not massively long, but I just wanted to cover this in pretty good depth because I think it's pretty cool, actually. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.